Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use my mouse to improve my engineering workflow and efficiency in Altium Designer. Here's the mouse that I'm using. It's called the G502 Hero from Logitech. I love Logitech software and uh, uh, Logitech gear and the software that goes along with it. So in this video, I'll show you how I use it and how I set it up to use in Altium Designer. All right, let's get into it. Hey everybody, this is the mouse I use for my PCB design work and my daily tasks at my work desk. And here, this is my desk setup, but I won't get into that just yet. So this mouse is the Logitech G502 and I just use it all the time. I like that it has one, two, three, well actually three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Well, eight, nine, and 10 if you count these, three normal ones. And then this is a scroll wheel and I can adjust the scroll wheel to be like an infinite scroll type of thing, which is just amazing. All right, so I love this mouse. It has some weight to it. Like at the bottom here, it has weights. I can put in a mouse to make it heavier or take out to make lighter. And I really like that. Let's just pop that back in there. All right. This is fantastic. A Logitech G502 Hero. I'm going to set this bad boy up to do some work in my PCB design or EDA software. Okay, so I use the Logitech eHub software to configure my mouse. So in the Logitech software, you have to download it. It doesn't really install automatically. Once I download it, you can set up your mouse. I'm gonna go to the G502 Hero. Here I can choose what profile I want, like default. Default is typical and then other profiles you can set up. Now I have one specifically called Altium and that's what I'm going to use for my Altium software. So on the Altium profile, my primary click or is left click, middle click, secondary click, I'm gonna keep all of these the same. But for here, this button on the left of my primary click or left of my left mouse button, I'll set this to copy. So I, I can actually drag a pre-existing command over here and then for this button here, I don't want DPI down. I want this to be paste. So I'll grab this. You can just grab your input from here and then boom, drop it right on there. So onboard profile cycle, I like that. I like to switch between Altium and default. So I'll leave that button the same. Now I can click here and then this will change my um, view because there are three more buttons on the left here. Sometimes I may want to cut, but actually I'm gonna assign wire to this button. So what would be wire in this case? It's actually an Altium Control W. So I'll drag Control W, this close tab into this button. I think I'll change this to save. I don't use it that often and it's further away. And this close tab, it's called close tab, but this control W for wire is uh, very common. Special paste is very convenient in Altium Designer. So let's set it macros. I'll create a new macro called special, or actually it's called smart paste. That allows me to copy a port. So if we do con control shift V, save that. I think I'll put it over here. There we go. And this looks good. Cool, cool, cool. And you know what? I'm actually going to change this. This right here, I'm gonna change this to tab instead. Why tab? Because I use tab a lot and I may not want to hit tab on my keyboard all the time. 
but you can assign a, a single key to any button as well. All right, this setup looks good. When I hit tab and I'm in a certain mode, I always go to the properties panel and I don't want to have to hit the tab key. And smart base looks good. All the settings are saved immediately. Now let's test it in Altium Designer. All right, if you don't have Altium, by the way, you can download it for free using the Altium free trial. You'll get something like 14 days or something like that to test out Altium, the full set of features in Altium Designer. That's really fantastic. And you can go through a lot of tutorial videos on my YouTube channel and different other YouTube channels as well. And especially Altium Academy, that's a really good one. All right, here we're going to test out these key settings. I have a project open and the left mouse click or primary click that helps me select anything. Right mouse click, same deal, like, uh, or the standard deal. If I click on uh, this ground symbol here, I can right click and escape. Middle mouse button helps me drag up and down. Now for these special keys, if I want to copy something, I can go click here and click on my more left button. I don't know what to call it. Now I can click on this button below it and it pastes. Very cool. Let's see what else we can do here. I can click on some port again. I like picking this one, but actually let's go with text. Now I want to start changing my settings. I can either hit the tab key or click on this button that I set to tap. Now my properties shows up. So if you, in case you missed that, let's try that again. Hit place. Actually, let's close the properties panel. All right. Now when I choose to hit this, my properties panel shows up and I can change and edit whatever I want. Then hit the tab. I'm going to go back to unpausing that. Didn't have to touch my keyboard. Really nice. Here is the undo button. So I'm going to or excuse me, that's not the undo. This is the undo. This below here is the undo. This here will be the wiring button. So if I click here and see the crosshairs appear on my cursor and I can start wiring. Very nice. I'll end mode with the right mouse button there. And now for this, I can undo. So let's undo some of this stuff. Or actually, I think I set this to save, right? Yeah, I think I said just to save. Yep, that's cool. The undo is actually assigned to this tilt. So if I undo that, if I tilt it, it un it'll undo the operation. Next, I have smart paste. So if I do, uh, if I click, say this, um, mm, let me see. Let's say I click this net label, right? And then I copy it. I can place this as a power port. I can paste it as a power port, paste it as something else or just a port. To do that, I would either do control shift V on my keyboard or I can nudge to the right on my uh, wheel. So we'll do that and it shows up very nice. I'll choose port or something like that. Click OK. And then it comes up as a port and a net label. That's really cool. And I don't have to select and delete this. I can just do undo and it will undo it for me. It's like that. All right. So that's why I like this mouse so much. In fact, I might even get another mouse that has like a million buttons on it just so I can do as many different things as possible. All right. So let's go back here and we can also set the default profile, which has my default options for my mouse. Very convenient. I like it. And then I can set up more profiles as well. All right, that's the mouse. Also, I want to show you this cool thing. So if you have Gerber files or a schematic or PCB file from KiCad, Eagle, Altium, then you can go to Altium's Altium 365 online viewer. It's completely free. You can upload your files for free and then look at your printed circuit board files and your design. You can also look at the schematic files 
the 3D view and a bill of materials. So here's my bill of mat well not this isn't my project but this is an example project where you can look at build the materials the parts it'll have links to the parts it'll take you directly there and it'll also show you the different parts on the pcb in the schematic and boom it just takes you to the device just use the link in the description below and then you can go to the website and upload any of these types of files you can also vote for new formats, but these are the ones that are up right now, especially the Gerber file one. This is very nice. This is super convenient when you want to check your Gerber files. All right, that's Altium Free Viewer. Try it out and see what you think. All right, so that is my G502 Hero Gaming Mouse from Logitech, and I really like it. I like the look and the feel of it, and also especially the weight and of course, all the buttons that I have to use for my EDA software. I really like using gaming mice and gaming tech in general because I'm also a gamer and uh, they just happen to go hand in hand with my engineering work. If you have any type of mice that you like to use for your work setup, then let us know in the comment section below. Feel free to comment also on mice that you're interested in getting or if you're using a standard mouse, that's fine. Uh, if you're considering upgrading your mouse game, ask us and see what we think. You know, this is not the only mouse by far. In fact, I'm looking at another mouse now that has like eight or nine more buttons on it because I can never have too many buttons. But also the feel and the look are important to me as well. All right, feel free to like this video. Thus will help other people find this video who are interested in mice for their engineering software flow or their engineering workflow if you want to see and get more updates about videos that i upload to this channel make sure you subscribe so you'll get those notifications as soon as i post the videos also premiere videos that you know in advance you'll get those notifications as well all right thanks so much for watching see you next time peace